both Datura and Sorcery were different than the rest of the Akoksky. Both of them would argue on whose perspective on art was superior than the other. Datura believes once something has been created we enjoy the beauty of it, the moment of its existence. But once the creation has been destroyed or disappeared by natural causes, the creation itself will live on within our memory. And that's it. On the other hand, Sorcery believes once something has been created by human hands, the art can live on forever, many years to come, generations to generations, as long as the art itself has been well taken care of. The creation can still live on many years after the original creator has passed. And in my opinion, both Data and Sorcery are right and wrong towards each other. Data is right about art existing for a short period of time. Usually, after something has been created, natural causes does its course, and things break, fall, and sometimes we create things that we love just for them to go missing, and we never see them again. So in the real world, Datara is not wrong at all. Saucery is 95% right when he explains things do last forever if they are well taken care of. The problem is, Datara's ideology seems to be more realistic on art then well, sorceries. It's extremely rare for everything that existed on this planet that has been created by human hands that surely did indeed last forever. Even if a person can create art that lasted at least 300 to 500 years, usually it will break or be destroyed. But it's also the people who loved or enjoyed your creation of art that they cared enough to keep it safe for all of these years. Some people wouldn't care to preserve your art forever if you were a bad person. You need to have an impact on people around you so they do care enough to keep your art alive forever, right? Now listen, I dislike Saucery's Small Redemption with Conqueror, but sadly the situation I'm referring to did happen in the actual story. Saucery and Konkuro had an understanding, but it was because of this talk itself, it's what made Konkuro respect Saucery even more now, that he cares enough to take care of the father and the mother puppet for future generations. If this conversation didn't happen, then I would have no idea what would happen to the father and mother puppet after this. But like I said before, Dater's perspective is absolutely correct because if Saucery didn't have anyone to trust to look after his creation, then Data was more right after all. Saucery's puppets would be forgotten, and they would only exist for a short period of time until his legacy is gone forever. So what I'm getting at here, both Data and Saucery are right and wrong towards each other. Anything can technically happen to art. Art can truly last forever, or at least a long period of time, until they do break and won't exist anymore. But just enjoy the moment of them until they are gone forever. These two were paired up because they had an interest in creating art. But let's be honest here, they absolutely hated each other. We have never seen them get along at all during the screen time they both had together. Just because two people like the same subject doesn't mean they will relate to everything else they do. Pretty sure this is why most Naruto fans prefer Dater's pairing with Toby more because of the comedy in it. I still believe it was a huge letdown we've never seen these two tag team. I always had this cool concept of both of them combining their arts together, like infusing Saucery's poison within Dator's clay explosions, so you would have an ultimate attack fused with both bombs and poison in one single attack. It would be deadly. If Saucery didn't die, you could have had heavy Sasuke versus Dater and Sorcery. Imagine that. Another interesting difference between both of them, Dater likes to give compliments back to his enemies, when he sees a great landscape of architecture. Dater loves seeing and admiring anything with creativity on it, regardless what it is or who he is fighting. If he sees something he likes, he will give credit when credit is due. While Sorcery is a dead-ass monster with no soul or emotions, he tried to kill Sakura and his own grandmother. Also capturing and killing people to create human fucking puppets out of them. Sasori's art is creating things out of blood without giving any kind of credit about anything else. It's only about him and Sasori forever. Dater cared so much about art being a moment of the human eye to witness until it's gone forever, he told Sasuke he would see the greatest masterpiece and everyone in the world will view my greatest art and you'll be the first one to witness it. And Dater killed himself by turning himself 
into art itself. Dater truly was obsessed with art way more than Sasori if you ask me. Sasori just wanted to kill Sakura and Chio without any kind of art send-off, but Dater likes to be an artist perfectionist. He goes out in style. Pain paired these guys up for a reason, but it doesn't seem like they were meant to be teammates at the end of the day. In concept, yes, but in reality, no. One of their most favorite funny moments is both of them arguing about art in the middle of a battle in front of Team 7. Naruto literally throws a huge ninja tool at Sasori. He reflects it, then instantly gives his attention right back to Deidara. Sasori didn't give a fuck. These two always stood out differently than the rest of the organization. But please tell me whose perspective was right or wrong? Was Saucery right on art being eternal and lives on forever? Or was Data right about art being a single moment of beauty and once it's gone, it's gone forever, but we enjoy the moment of it and it's within our memories now? Like I said previously, I believe they are both right and wrong on art. Anything can last forever or be destroyed by natural causes. Even if something did last on this planet for a long period of time, one day it will decay. My friend t Bry once told me, Datara was eternal and Saucery was just a moment because Datara did outlive Saucery longer within the series while Saucery was just here for a very short period of time. It's crazy how both of them got each other's perspective on art on the way that they lived and died. I am Deluxe Scruff if you want, stay ninja weird, and have a good night. Bye.